Hello, buddy. Today I'm gonna review the Happy Meals. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Mm. Um, I forgot the name, but I believe it's like Snoopy Peanuts or something. But today I'm gonna review um the um Space Call. I don't know. And the satellite telescope. I don't know. So I'm just gonna start the review with doing this. So this is actually much more better. Um, I mean, like the the um, overall like vehicle is not that great. Besides from the um little um, orange thingy. But besides from that, Snoopy is actually detailed. Um, there was a nice size comparison with the Snoopy on the, um, let's say, um, satellite thingy, magical, I don't know. Um, anywho, the head, I mean, like, the whole main body, the, um, the back. Features some stuff, but besides, apart from that, there's nothing to complain at all. And the gimmick is, is that it's a pullback toy. I need to do it, pull it um, back, and then let it go. The wheels. But it's okay. So here it. Yep, I'll just grab it. Here's a good look at the other figure. So overall, of the two, Snoop is my um uh, favorite. But the vehicle kind of sucks. I mean, I like the Snoopy better than the other one I have, but the vehicle kind of like the satellite more. What's even cooler than is that this thing has points of articulation. The wheels doesn't spin, unfortunately. It's these wheels, but there's nothing Lily can do. But the little orange part here, that is a total, like, piece. You could sort of see me moving it around. I'm not sure if you could get a full 360 movement because of, well, um, Snoopy's, like, face here for blocks. But if, if you could, like, customize Snoopy, like, in, like, the back right here, like, here, a little bit more backish. Or maybe somewhere to the side would be nicer. Or maybe this thing could be a little bit like wider. So Snoopy could be like in the side and stuff here. So we could get more movement. But what's really weird is that at the back, it's hollowed. Yeah, at the front it looks awesome. There's like these little... Uh, Screw holes, whatever at the back. Yeah. Happy Meal doesn't really do well, so I could um, apologize for that. I mean, I would accept the apology, but I mean, like, come on. Come on. Next up, we have um, telescope satellite thing. It doesn't come with anything aside from, well, articulation, which, as you can see here, he's got two panels right here. That is not the gimmick, but if you want to, it can sort of do a swiveling motion on uh, both figures. I mean, sorry, both, like, panelings. So, if you... Wanting to get it in a different pose, let's say something like this. You can, but 
Snoopy, kind of so it has a locking motion here. Um, where it plugs into the base here. Let me see if I can get that. So you can see here, he sort of locks side to side, but does it really? The telescope, which I'll talk about later, is sort of on a um, swivel, I think. I don't know. Even if the way that it's constructed is so, so doesn't really want to do anything. Uh, hang on a second. Let me... Yeah, there's kind of a motion there. But it's not really picking well at camera. And plus, why do you really want to articulate any um, action feature? Hang on a second. Let me see. It's a te telescope. Um, not sure if you could. So examples including the Snoopy I have right here. From far it kind of looks small. In close-ups and kind of looks sort of large. I have no idea if the camera is really picking it up too well. It's kind of blurry. Let me try to focus it. Um, well, the good news is, well, it's Dale. It's like Dale. But the camera is kind of sort of sucks. At least when it comes to this gimmick. But what's really cool about it is, like a couple of your other telescopes, you can attract it. Um, and right at the front here, you could see it. So let's see if we could get the other motion here. So you can see how this figure is kind of large, kind of small. Let's see if we could capture that. Well, kind of sort of can, but it's not really too, too much. Um, yeah, it's not really too, too much of an example because on head, it really picks up everything. But in this case, it's kind of blurry. Walk, walk. Yeah. But at least it's works. It works. Like, it works just fine. So, I suggest... If you want to buy um, two of the Snoopies or maybe one of them, I suggest maybe buying the um, telescope one. But if you recommend to pick two, I suppose this one is not bad at all. I mean, who doesn't like pullbacks? But could have like a, let's say, this thing as a water shooter. Like, it's kind of like a, maybe like they also could include it like a UF over water like sh shooter water spoiler but i suggest pick this set up so that's the end of this review thanks for watching don't forget to like share subscribe leave a comment down below and uh, i'll see you next time goodbye